Hi everyone, we're Neha and Molly, and we're going to be sharing a brief overview of our late-breaking work paper about MindGiva, a framework that aims to scaffold students across the metacognitive reflection process. To learn how to self-direct research, students must reflect and improve on a wide range of metacognitive skills. Literature suggests that expert learners enact a metacognitive reflection process, where they monitor, evaluate, and focus their ways of working as they practice. However, we observe that novice student researchers often struggle to engage in the cycle of reflection, even within learning ecosystems that aim to support metacognitive reflection like an agile research studio or ARS. This happens because often students are unaware of risky metacognitive processes or fail to identify opportunities to practice improved metacognitive skills. Class systems have been developed with the aim of improving metacognitive skills. Template-based systems provide a structured process students can follow to improve on a certain skill. However, these systems provide the same structure to each student and cannot dynamically alter their supports depending on the metacognitive needs of an individual. Cognitive tutors aim to provide real-time feedback on metacognitive skills based on a student's current behaviors, but are again limited to a specific area of metacognition. These systems can also only provide feedback on behaviors that are automatically detectable to a computer system. We contribute the Mind Yoga framework. Mind Yoga integrates a series of three process scaffolds on action dashboard, four box model, and in action cues into an existing learning ecosystem, each aimed at scaffolding a stage of the reflection process, monitor, evaluate, and practice. The on action dashboard prompts students to explicitly reflect on their metacognitive risks that they think will affect their upcoming project work the most. For ARS students, this happens at the beginning of a new week in their sprint. The four box model is filled out during a weekly planning meeting that ARS students have with their mentors. The four box model asks students to summarize their mentors feedback and use this to determine what their metacognitive and practical risks are. Then the mentor validates that the student identified risks align with the risks they see in their process. After this, the students come up with an action plan in the final blue box to determine how and when they will address their metacognitive risks in the context of their practical work in the following week. The inaction cues are sent to students based on the action plan in the four box model. These cues therefore can provide individualized reminders to the students during relevant practice sessions based on the risks they identified with their mentors. The cues are structured by auto-filling the student's risks and action plan into a templated reminder. These cues are then sent to students at the time they indicated in the four box model. In our two-week pilot study, we found that when the process scaffolds were used, students were able to reach reflection outcomes for each of the three stages of the reflection process. In the on-action dashboard, students were able to produce reflections about the risks in their metacognitive processes. In the four-box model, students were able to develop an action plan by leveraging mentor feedback that addresses both metacognitive and practical risks. The in-action cues actively reminded students of their action plan during relevant work sessions. The results of this study indicate that Mind Yoga is able to provide individualized support for a wide range of metacognitive needs by leveraging the resources in the current learning ecosystem, such as mentor feedback, and by supporting the stages of reflection through the use of process scaffolds instead of targeting a specific strategy. A major limitation of the Mind Yoga framework is that in this iteration, the process scaffolds do not easily integrate with the existing ARS learning ecosystem. From our study results, we recognize there are a number of friction points that prevent users from using each scaffold. Future work can explore how to better integrate the Mind Yoga framework into existing learning ecosystems.